Hello gorgeous soul, here's your weekly astrology. I'm not on camera this week because I've got a tooth infection, but you get the beautiful visuals from my wife, Kathy Knight Wade. And there's some extraordinary news from the cosmos as Mercury and the North Node bring us a message about our future. Here's your weekly astrology. Hey, Radiant and Magnificent Leo, how are you doing? This week is very, very interesting for you. All sorts of happenings are, could shift your destiny this week. Let's start at the beginning. So Mars, the planet of action and power and sexuality, is joining forces uh, with Ceres and sextiling Uranus. What does that mean? Well, for you, it means power. You have a lot of power this week. And if you're keeping your power pure, um, you have all this fuel to catapult yourself forward. However, don't get caught up in the trap of revenge or yeah, wanting to take revenge on someone or having power over anyone. That would be a waste of this energy. Use the power that is coming through you to transform where you're going and how other people see you and indeed how you see yourself. And that's likely to come about when it comes to your career. Something ha could happen this week which changes things for you unexpectedly and I believe in a positive way connected to your career. Fingers crossed it's in a positive way. I think also it's how you handle it, you know. So use your energy and your power for good when it comes to your career this week. Now, another thing that is a very, very strong theme of this week is friendships and connections. Friendships and connections are popping up this week to help you transform your destiny. And it's important that you do connect with the people that you consider important, powerful, um, who are in your heart and who matter to you and who you want to take forward in your life. With Mercury conjunct the North Node, something is rising and there could be an opportunity through friendships that take a, a breakthrough for you in this um, difficult time. And you are being talked about, you are being mentioned, how you commit, commit and how you tell people what you want to do in those circumstances is really, really important. Don't dither. If you want to commit to something, an idea, a group of people, you know, go for it. I don't mean to be bossy. I know you Leos don't like bossy, <laughs> but I have Leo rising. So that's where that comes from. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Anyway, so the good news is you make friends. People, people gravitate towards you because you are a warm and generous spirit. And all of those contacts and all of those people that you have connected to over the years are going to help you in this next phase. And on top of that, there may be other contacts and other connections coming up this week that could have profound and supreme importance for your future and for your destiny. And it's about you being part of that group. Yeah, so it's not standing alone, doing your own thing, being the mighty lion. It's about joining forces. It's about teamwork. But it's also a powerful time when it comes to cosmic ordering or putting, sending out your seeds to the universe about what you want to create. You know, whenever that energy is around, you're plugged into the mains of the whole and the one consciousness. Put it this way, the cosmos is listening. So be careful what you put out there. Mercury then shifts signs and you may find that a secret is re revealed this week. And on top of that, you're moving into, over the next few weeks, your most psychic time of the year. So pay attention to your witchery, spidery senses and to your intuition. Take care, gorgeous, and I'll speak to you soon. Hi gorgeous, before you go, check out my new film on my fabulous psychics. A lot of people ask me for readings, I don't do them anymore, but for over 20 years I've had an award-winning team of psychics that I truly hand-pick. So check out the film, and let me know what you think. The purpose of a reading I feel is very much to inspire people and to empower people. It's about hope, it's about guidance using a phone or being with you, it will be the same because the matter is spiritual. It's very important for me that the client feels spirit with them. So it was a psychic reading. I don't remember the readings right after because it's not myself giving that, it's actually coming from spirit. 
and it is a bit like a three-way conversation. I've got the person on the phone, I've got me, and I've got another voice that's telling me things. I even shock myself, things that I come up with, and I think, how did I, I get that? I'm channeling messages only for, for one purpose, to, to help people. It's been able to help somebody have a map back to where they've got lost from. My priority is to connect to your truth and have the best life that you can have. I think in my readings people feel a sense of a safe space where they can really be themselves, let go. You need a feeling of being understood because reading should be empowering. I will make sure when the reading is finished that you're happy with everything. I, I couldn't do anything else. It's, it's, it's part of who I am. It's what I came here for, obviously. And when they come back and tell you they've got their dream job or the love of their life, that really makes me feel like I'm valued. I love to hear a sigh of relief. A lot of weight has been lifted off their shoulders. We have the answers that we are looking for within ourselves. I know I have the tools to help you. Everything begins and ends with you.